This is the Wise Guy Radio Show, a podcast dedicated to educating and inspiring through conversations with today's top talents in the world of glass. We will be dissecting their journeys in hopes to deliver actionable content that you, the artist, can start implementing now, helping you grow not only as a creative spirit, but also a successful artistic entrepreneur. With a little organization, relationship building, and your artistic ability, you can obtain greatness. Climb aboard, whether an artist, retail owner, or enthusiast. We have a ton of fun in store for you. Welcome to the Wise Guy Radio Show. This episode of the Wise Guy Radio Show is brought to you by Mountain Glass Arts. For the month of September 2018, Mountain Glass is offering their borrow sale. You can get North Star first quality rods for 30% off. No coupon code needed, and the sale does not include sample packs and does not combine with any other discounts. does not apply to cadmium colors, Illuminati, Lucy, Absinthe, Nova, Gemini, or Reserve Batch items. And for all you beautiful soft glass nerds, they have their Creations is Messy sale. You can get 40% off glass from Creations is Messy. All you have to do is put in the coupon code M-E-S-S-Y at checkout to receive your discount. And also don't forget to check out all their kiln and torch sales. And for anybody out there that does demonstrations, they are now offering a disposable Dedemium glasses uh, pair thingy uh, for your guests to use when they're watching you work. Uh, These are not designed for long-term usage, but they are designed to help protect the eyes of the guests that are watching you. Uh, I know I'm going to get my hands on these as they are only $4 a piece and uh, would be a great thing to buy when you go out and do demonstrations. Uh, Even just to have at the house when you have friends stop by and, you know, what have you. And that way you're not worried about your glasses getting broken or taken. So for any other questions, comments, or concerns, go check out our friends at mountainglass.com. That's Mountain Glass. Hey, 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 what's happening? Welcome to... Hey, 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 what's happening? Welcome to the Wise Guy Radio Show, episode number 201. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is your host, Jason Michael. And uh, today I just want to kind of talk about quickly uh, the importance of being prepared for emergencies. Uh, with the recent Hurricane Florence blowing through the Carolinas, uh, really taking its time getting into uh, the East Coast there. Um, it kind of gave me some thoughts and some flashbacks from last year. Uh, just by chance was the year anniversary from Hurricane Irma uh, that hit us here in Florida. And it was my first time actually experiencing um, a hurricane more or less head on like we had last year. Uh, living in Florida for now 42 years almost, um, I've experienced all kinds of storms and craziness. And last year's uh, Hurricane Irma really put a lot of stuff into perspective, especially when it comes to being a business owner and also a glass artist and thinking about all the other spaces and places around the world that deal with uh, natural disasters and emergencies, whether it's a hurricane, earthquakes, forest fires, floods, you name it. Um, it's important that we're prepared. Uh, I know a lot of us over the years have uh, accumulated a ton of different tools and supplies and equipment and materials, and it'd be a tragedy for you not to be prepared to be able to pack all your shit up and just haul ass uh, when you need to, because uh, hanging out for you know whatever you know because you want to be a badass and survive a storm. Uh, isn't always the smartest thing, and sometimes you're required to leave. And I know a lot of artists last year, uh, when uh, Hurricane Harvey went through Texas, uh, lost everything. And uh, I know myself and a lot of other artists were, uh, were out there helping to contribute to those who lost everything. And when I mean everything, I mean I mean everything. Like everything they had learned and earned and collected for their entire lives were just wiped away and overnight from floods. Uh, and it's pretty crazy how it all happens that way. So this episode is basically, it's a best of repeat uh, that I wanted to play just to kind of put things into perspective. And listening back to this episode, uh, it kind of gave me some eerie feelings remembering last year. And, you know, some people are all about the hurricane parties and having fun. And yeah, sure, it can be fun. But in all reality, it can be pretty tragic and uh, things can go awry pretty quickly. And we had a couple instances during that particular hurricane where, you know, it was wasn't life or death, but it, it got pretty hairy. And uh, I just was initially going outside to record just the sounds of the storm, uh, just kind of playing around with my digital recorder. And it gave me the idea. I was like, well, screw it. I'm outside in the hurricane with my digital recorder. I might as well record an episode. So what you're going to hear is actually me out on my front porch during Hurricane Irma last year. Uh, the sound quality is not the best, but again, this just kind of puts things into perspective um, if you've experienced hurricanes recently and you understand what I'm talking about and you're listening to this, uh, you definitely know firsthand what I uh, was going through. Um, 
and I'm not trying to bring, you know, anybody down or what have you, but this is just a reality check that, you know, things do happen. Um, it could even just be a simple freak thing where your kiln has a short and it catches your studio on fire. I mean, you've seen across, you know, the board over the years, artists that have lost everything from fires. Uh, and it's, and it's, uh, it's tragic. It happens. So we have to be prepared, even if it's just, you know, be able to pack and grab just the minimal basic stuff. Uh, so what I have on the show notes is a link to a PDF download. That's just a basic checklist. Um, and also a link to on amp for Amazon to, uh, purchase a large Tucker tote. And what I suggest is just to print out this PDF form, uh, make a list of all your important stuff. Um, go around, take pictures, take video for insurance purposes as well. It's that's another big important aspect of this. And then uh, save those pictures and videos on a card so you have them somewhere so you don't ever lose them. And then take your checklist and fill out the checklist with all your stuff that you think is your most important necessities and needs. So if you do need to pack up your shit and and go, that way you'll at least have your equipment uh, to be able to go somewhere else. And you know I know artists are all about opening their studios. So you'll have at least an ability to work and continue to make some money while you're uh, recovering from whatever emergency or issue, whatever whatever it is you've gone through. And uh, I'm not sure if you can hear that whining sound in the background. My freaking fan of my computer is acting up, so you might hear a little bit annoying noise in the background, and I apologize for that. Uh, but that being said, um, print out this form. It's a real simple thing. It's on my Dropbox. Um, it's just, again, you just print it out, fill it out, tape it to the top of your Tucker Tote, container if you have one already and if not you can use this link to buy one um, this link also goes through our amazon portal for the podcast so it also helps to support the show i get a couple pennies for every time someone makes a sale through the link um, something i haven't really promoted at all except for when i first started this podcast like four years ago um, something i've actually kind of forgot about until i brought this episode back up um, but that being said it's, it's again it's just something i wanted to it's you know a friend of mine i know a lot of you out there in, the, in america that saw this hurricane come through and I've seen the extensive damage. Um, I just met some guests recently at work that I just did a custom piece for, and uh, they live out on one of the Barrier Islands, and they literally were saying that they're, as they're heading home, they have to keep an eye on the tides uh, because right now the roads at high tide are impassable because of the hurricane and the way the, the water came in, the rivers are rising, and the bays are high, and it's just it's crazy. So, again, just wanted to uh, just kind of do a recap from last year. Uh, make sure there's something that you're thinking about. And also, it's been a while since I did a podcast episode, and I wanted to get this done. Uh, it's almost the end of September here. And uh, I have, a again, a long list. My schedule at work has been kind of crazy, so I haven't been able to get any interviews done. Uh, but this coming week, I have like a little vacation time, and I'm taking full advantage of my time off to get a bunch of stuff done, contents, articles written, uh, you know, you name it, things I've been wanting to get done here for a couple weeks now. So anyways, um, while you're at it, uh, don't forget, before I let you go here, that if you want to become a wise ass and a member of our community on Patreon, you can go to patreon.com forward slash wise guy radio. I have already begun to post videos up there, uh, some basic tutorial stuff, just some fun little tidbits uh, that will help you uh, when it comes to learning sculptural work. Uh, I have my online course that's still in development. Uh, my buddy Mark's going to be here on Thursday to help me finish up and wrap up the last bit of video. Um, I did a bunch of video work on all the lessons, and we're actually going to take what I've already done and redo it. Uh, Mark has a background in film and production. Uh, he's also a gla an amazing, talented glass engraver uh, with me over at Disney. Um, so he has an idea of glass, but also has a perspective when it comes to producing videography and that kind of stuff. So uh, we're going to be redoing all the video content. Uh, the, the basically what I kind of give you a, a little synopsis of the first class course that I have, uh, which is the introduction into sculpture. It's for anybody who has a basic concept when it comes to turning your torch on and melting a blob of glass. And this will walk you through the process of learning uh, how to manipulate borosilicate or any kind of glass that is uh, to be able to create a whatever, a shape, a, a th anything you want out of your brain. Uh, week one is learning how to make a manatee. Week two is a dolphin. Uh, week three is a fish. Week four is a turtle. Week five is an octopus. And then week six is a collaboration of all the above, which basically you make a little reef scene and then you make things individually and then you learn how to assemble. And uh, everything for this course goes over the videos. I have a whiteboard uh, tutorial that I do where I draw out everything on the whiteboard, really break things down. I'm trying to teach how to draw uh, sh design and 
uh, animals or whatever using geometrical shapes, breaking things down really simple. Uh, so that way, if you don't know how to draw, you can at least draw a triangle or a square or a circle. You know, you can make a cat face using a couple squares and circles and triangles. And this is basically what this uh, my le my lecture aspect part of the course involves. And then the lab is the video work for the tutorials. And then what I've done is broken things down individually into lessons. So, for instance, for the dolphins. Uh, the dolphin lesson is just overall how to make a dolphin start to finish, but then I have broken down specific video content for lessons to do. If you want to like play guitar, you practice your scales. So this is learning how to practice your scales. So there's a tutorial on how to do uh, just to create a fin, a basic lamp working technique on how to, it's called lapping the glass uh, to create a dolphin fin or a tail. Um, like with the octopus, same thing. I have a lesson that is all about just how to make a simple tentacle. I know a lot of glass artists that make octopus, or octopuses, which is the correct plural version of octopus, uh, will make all the tentacles individually and then attach them to the body. And in my lesson, I actually teach you how to create the tentacle by uh, using the glass, by adding it to the body and then shaping out the tentacle and then using gravity and your flame to actually create the natural curl of the tentacles. It's a lot of fun. And these little lessons, again, they're just like little side lessons uh, that go along with the, uh, the uh, PowerPoint presentations that I have, along with also just the side to, uh, little videos that are incorporated with these lessons. Uh, so it's a lot of fun, and it's it's definitely something that, uh, again, it's been like a year and a half, and I've got a couple students who are uh, just amazing students that uh, have been in contact with me still, and we're just going back and forth talking about stuff and getting ideas on how to make this better. And then uh, once Mark's over here and we get the videos done, he's going to help me edit everything down because I uh, am learning the editing process. But, you know, they say uh, when you want to learn something and uh, it's something new to you, sometimes it's better off having somebody else do it that already knows how to do it, you know, how to delegate. So that's what that's all about. So some of these videos, the, some of the little teaser tutorials that I have already created, I'm posting into the uh, Patreon group, which is kind of the full circle where I was going with this. And then I also have some some little demos. Um, I have like you know how to pull points properly. Um, I'm going to be doing one on how to make like a how to make a dragon wing in under five minutes. Little little simple things like that. Little basic little concepts. Um, that are going to be fun, and I'm excited to uh, bring these to you as my thank you for helping sponsor the show. And you can sponsor this podcast for as little as $12 a year. Uh, the video content begins at the $10 mark, which is only $120 a year. And I'm going to be creating um, a, a level, if I'm able to, through Patreon, where you can actually just pay for the entire year, and you'll get a discount for doing that. So instead of $120, it'll be $100. Bucks. i got to figure out how to do that still. Um, but I have a couple guys right now that are paying uh, in the – the $10 range that are getting all the videos. So come join the fun. Uh, there's the $1, the $5, and the $10 levels right now. Um, also, you get a lot of other little tchotchkes and stuff that uh, it says a thank you, uh, whether you're the $1 or the $10. So, uh, yeah, and I, it's, uh, a lot of, it's been a lot of fun doing this. So, and I, again, as the, uh, this show continues to grow, and uh, I've got my energy levels back here, and my brain's good, and I'm in a good spot. I'm going to be getting a lot more content up for you guys. So stay tuned for that. And until I uh, let you go here, I want to stop rambling. And uh, just again, say thank you so much. Uh, don't forget to go on iTunes if you have an iPhone with the podcast. Uh, leave me a review. Any other podcast catcher you have, there's ways to leave reviews on those apps. So please do that. It definitely helps the show out tremendously. And uh, I'm going to start going into the reviews and uh, saying some thank yous and actually I'm gonna do that right now. So one sec All right, so going through some reviews. Here's uh the last review was done in, fe in February 2018 so y'all need to get on this iTunes reviews and leave me some reviews I want to hear what your opinions are on the show too, which uh, always helps me in terms of uh, steering the show in the directions uh, But this one comes from uh, D corruptor uh, Give me five stars. He says I've been listening for about a year now <clears throat> ever since I bought my first torch uh, Jason has got it going on with this show Endless amounts of information about the industry, its players, and even some secrets. I've never really listened to podcasts, but Wise Guy, I listen to all the time, even to previous episodes while on the torch, because it's a huge encouragement and motivation to hear the struggles of not only the big names, but also the smaller guys and how they make it work. Glass is not easy, but it's a passion that I've made a major life change. Glass is not easy, but it's a passion that I've made major life changes to learn and make it work no matter the cost. Wise Guy Radio has been a huge help to making it, and slowly but surely I am. Thanks, Jason Michael, for this podcast. Keep it up. Treat it like glass and not stop. There you go. So thanks so much for that review. And uh, we had one from Proby's Treasures. 
Uh, says an amazing resource filled with information for the glass community, awesome interviews, and conversations with awesome people. Keep up the good work. So I definitely appreciate all the love. Uh, I've gotten a bunch of reviews. We have a really good five-star rating right now. So now all you have to do is if you have the app, you can just go into the app, hit the little star button. It'll send a re uh, re star rating automatically, and then you can go into the review and type a little review if you'd like, which I do, again, appreciate, and I'm going to be reading all the reviews from here on out for every episode, at least three to four uh, per episode, as long as they're there. I'm not just going to read some bullshit. <laughs> so <laughs> would definitely, again, help out the show tremendously. All it does is really just helps uh, iTunes uh, move the show up in the rankings and exposes this to more people out there in the world uh, to let them know what is going on out there in the world of glass. So that being said, I've been rambling here for about 13 minutes or so. So again, just be smart when it comes to being prepared for emergencies. Uh, just, you know, I'm not saying do as I say, but I am at the same time. So because I've been through this and I know a lot of you out there listening to this have also. Because uh, we are spread out through this country and the world in all kind of environments. Uh, again, between everything from forest fires to earthquakes to hurricanes to typhoons to monsoons to famine, which doesn't really affect your studio, but is still a disaster. I had to put it in there. So. Until next time, happy Melton. Make some wise decisions today and get, tell someone that you love that you love them. And we'll talk to you on episode 202 of the Wise Guy Radio Show. Until then, take care of yourselves. I'll talk to you soon. Peace. show episode hurricane irma edition this is your host jason michael and i am currently on my front porch as hurricane irma approaches and uh we've got about you probably here hopefully you can hear me as well but i thought i'd try to record this while it's like 65 miles of winds out here holy shit i don't know if you can hear that or not but it's pretty scary but i was actually out here just recording the sounds of the wind because i want to document this and it made me think about going ahead and recording for this podcast so here I am turn my volume down a little bit okay so the reason I'm recording is uh, like I said I'm recording the sounds of the wind just to document this whole thing but also uh, it got me thinking even with last year's fires that we had across the country, um, and then recently with Harvey in Texas, and now here in Florida with Irma, <coughs> it got me thinking that as an artist and having a studio, you really have to be prepared for this kind of stuff. Um, I've just recently moved out here to Orlando from the Tampa Bay area, and my studio is still out there. And so my shop mate, ex-roommate, former roommate, student, apprentice, um, he basically had executive decisions, and he took us, took our studio down, packed up all of our torches. He's in an evacuation zone, so he has everything with him right now, except for my kiln, uh, which is up and out of the way. Hopefully, things are good and well there with that. But um, really, what you need to do is put together a checklist, which I will have a link for you to download, make it easy for you. Um, I'll have basically all the necessities on there, and then I'll leave some blank spaces so you can write down things that you may not see on the list. But this will give you an idea, really, to think about putting together a Tupperware container, Tucker tote, big tub of some sort that you can pack up all your shit, all your hoses, regulators, torches, all your stuff, glass, maybe not cases of glass, but just things that you can put away and maybe take with you um, if you need to evacuate. Uh, we had a lot of us, our, our friends of ours in the industry, too, that were in Texas that lost everything. I mean, homes, studios, everything. It's just tragic. And now I'm sure here in Florida, it's gonna, we're gonna have very similar stories. So as of right now, this hurricane was supposed to go up through Tampa Bay, which is where I was living at. And the last we heard, it was actually turning east a little bit. Oh, shit. holy shit, sorry. Just watching uh, Transformers off in the distance blowing up, green flashes. Um, but yeah, so now it's heading towards us. 
So I'm not going to be on here too long, but I want to just basically just say, just think about when you're... These transformers out here are blowing up everywhere. See all this green light? Can you see it? It's crazy. Sorry, just talking to friends inside. Um, but yeah, so think about everything that you could potentially put away. And obviously, sometimes we have emergencies where you got to get up and go. And sometimes we have a couple days or a week to plan. Like we've had a little bit of time for this hurricane to plan. So download this list, print it out, put it in your studio, have a Tupperware container marked emergency, and get ready to pack up all your shit and go. I mean, really, our torches, if this is your livelihood that you do for a regular job, then you need to make sure that it's safe and secure, and including if you're going to leave the house, that all your gas tanks are secure, everything's turned off, you know, all, all that stuff. Just, you know, and I'm only saying this now because I'm right in the middle of a hurricane and I'm thinking about this shit. So, be prepared, have a plan, and other than that, uh, it's probably better that I get going now so that I'm not going to get blown away out here or have a tree fall in the house and kill me or some other shit. Not to mention the fact that I'm getting soaked fucking wet. So, either way, I uh, hope this makes sense. And again, uh, it's also why I didn't have an episode out this week. We've just been, between working and preparing for this hurricane, uh, I haven't had a chance. I had Derek, uh, d -Rec lined up for tonight and we postponed it till middle of the week maybe next week sometime so i'm gonna put out a best of this coming up week um and then we'll be back on schedule from there so either way love you so much thanks for tuning in quick episode hurricane irma 2017 edition of the wise guy radio show print out the list and be prepared you have to evacuate love you take care peace segment of the wise guy radio show is brought to you by the flow magazine since its inception, the focus of the flow has been to provide a bond among members of the lampworking community. This has been accomplished by developing relationships with the finest artists and sharing their techniques with you through in-depth step-by-step tutorials. In every issue, you can enjoy great content with the hottest artists and cutting-edge techniques using the latest industry products. These features, along with the continuation of our Women in Glass edition, Glass Craft Emergent Artist Awards, inspiring gallery showcases, dynamic general interest articles, as well as health and safety information, make The Flow the leading international lampworking journal. And if you have not yet subscribed to The Flow, you can use the coupon code WISEGUY at checkout and you can receive 10% off your annual subscription. So just go to theflowmagazine.com. That is theflowmagazine.com.